Hey everyone, today I would like to show you how to connect objects together in Maya. So we will start with a grabbing animation. Here we have our Witcher rig. I've created a short movement like this. And basically we'll have to connect the sphere to the head. So how to do that? Okay, first we need to go to animation tab and here we have something called constraints. Okay, and we'll use parent constraint for that. So first let's select a parent, then the child. Okay, so parent is the object that will lead the drive the movement and the child will be the object that will follow. So I like to call it like a, since it's parent constraint, I like to first think about parent and then about the child. Okay, because maybe the order might be confusing at first, but this is my shortcut. Okay, so go to constraint parent, uh, hit this box first. Okay, and then we have this small window here. In order to keep the current pose that we have, I mean, since I, you know, created pose, I like it already. So we want to maintain it. Okay, if you undo this, then it will be basically destroyed. So we want to keep that from like what we already created. Here we want to also keep the uh, translation with all the x axes. So all rotate same and uh, weight parameter also like in 100. So 100% is 1.0 here. Let's hit add. And right now, as you can see, it just followed the movement in 100%. Okay, but we don't want that. We want to make sure that ball is first on the box and then it it is connected to the hand. So how to do that? Here you have like a, something called a blend parameter and where to find it. So you will always find it on the child. Okay, so just by selecting child, you will have here on the channel box something called blend parameter. And right, right now we have a value one. It means that it follows 100% our parent movement. If you hit this and switch it on the zero, then nothing will happen. So it will go back to the basic state of the ball, okay, before our animation. So in order to create what we want, okay, so here it has to maintain still without any movement and then we want to connect it with the head, we need to animate this parameter. So here the value will be on zero, okay, until this point, basically. So here we want to hit a key, right click, key selected, and right now we have a you know, key on the zero and then we can just switch it here or maybe later actually here when this is the perfect pose we can create value one and as you can see right now it's working and the weight parameter you can even animate that and you can find it here on the blend parameter Right now it takes, you know, like two frames for the switch to happen. It can be like in one frame also. I mean, it depends. It's up to you. But sometimes if you want to keep this movement, keep this like a blending as a little bit softer, you can keep more than just one frame. I mean, this is the main problem for you as an animator to just make it uh, seamless and invisible for the viewer. Okay, so right now we have animation so hopefully you like this video thank you for watching if you have some questions write down on the comment section below and yeah see you on another episode bye